Hello everyone, this is going to be a very easy and straightforward simple guide to fixing Five Nights at Freddy's security breaches, performance issues, and other bugs. So what you're going to want to do is click Windows and R at the same time, it'll open up this little run menu, and then you're going to want to type in percent app data percent. Okay. Now, go back one level so that you're in like the app data central folder, and then click local. You should now be in your username, app data, and then local. Scroll down until you find the folder titled FNAF 9. Open it, click saved, config, and Windows no editor. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open the one called game user settings. Open that with notepad and you'll see all the settings that are supposed to be in the game, but for some reason are absent probably due to a lack of polish. Now. In order to fix performance issues, I found even though I'm on a 1660 Super and people are lagging on a 2090 and or 3090, etc., if you cap the frame rate, it seems to fix all of your lag. I capped my frame rate and the performance was perfect, even on Ultra. Obviously, ray tracing's off. So, even on Ultra, I found it to work perfectly smooth. And I also have VSync on. So to show you an example of how to change a setting, for example, use vsync is by default, it's set to false. All you have to do is change the words to say true. If you want a dynamic resolution, you would just take the word false, type in the word true. Not gonna do that because I do not want that on. And to set a frame rate limit, it's the setting called frame rate limit equals, I believe it's set to like zero, making it infinite, set this to what you want. In my case, I have it set to 60. Now, after you have that set up, you're gonna wanna go to engine. Now, don't do this if you do not care about changing the field of view. This makes the field I view a lot further away. However, I don't know how to set it to a specific number, but for me, I found the game to be a lot more enjoyable when the field of view wasn't so close to your face that getting out of a hiding spot or doing something as simple as turning around got confusing and made me lose track of where I am. So go to the description, copy and paste this, it's in the description, into your engine thing in the folder. And after you do that, you'll notice once you boot up a level or whatever, the field of view will be moved back. That is all. After doing that, you should notice that the game runs a lot smoother, it is set up to how you like it, and if you turn on the field of view, that the field of view is better. That's it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this helps.